So you modified the front end, you modified the bed. I, I just put a short bed on it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. You got it high enough that it ain't too high. Right, and, I, and I've got tires for it. I got tires in my shop. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go uh, one, one size bigger on tires. Okay. Uh, so it'll be an inch taller, an inch wider. I'm keeping these are uh, uh, stock wheels. Yeah. The the factory aluminums, 92 to 96. Cool. So you're a Ford guy. Yes, sir. You notice the Ford logo with the little curly Q on it instead of an F. You know, with just one little bitty line. Have you ever paid attention to it? Check that Ford logo Is out. Is that an older style or something? No, it's a, it's new style. Well, it's it, to me it's new, yeah. but uh, if you look it up on the internet, they say they've had that style since 19, 1919 when they first did the logo. It beats anything I've ever seen. Have you got a minute? Yeah. Uh, I've got four Broncos. Okay, I want to see them. Uh, let me get this washed real quick. Go ahead. I'm going to wax it. See, I put the F-350 logos on it. And I'm gonna detail all underneath. I've got new white shot. Yeah, I've been noticing you as I ride by, uh, <laughs> fixing these things up. Yeah. So you for new stuff, so I uh, think this is for uh, this is classic. Yeah, it's more awesome than new. They hold their value so well. well and they're just going up. And then my Bronco there, that's a 96, which uh that's the last year they made those. Bronco 92 frame that I just got and I just put a tongue on it uh, I'm gonna use it to haul beds also but it's from an extended cab so it's a little bit longer okay and I'll clean it up and pull all the junk off it and paint it and this is a 79 frame here but I'm able to fit the later model stuff on it cool I gotta have that side painted that's been replaced this is my daily driver right here. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, I, it's totally rust free. I've had it for 11 years. And there's a Bronco 2 that I'm going to do a 5 0 swap on. Put a V8 in it. Yeah, I've seen that out, out here in the open before. Yeah. So you've done a pretty good bit to it. There's mm -hmm. some uh, differential covers that I'm getting ready to put on that one time. Oh man, cool. And then here's my 79. It's got, uh, got 83,000 original miles. It's, it's got every factory option on it. Quad shocks, uh, sway bars, uh, posi rear, loaded slip front, tilt wheel, light advisors, roll bar. Man, I like them tires. Yeah, those are uh, super swampers. Cool. They're called M16. Look on the sidewall here. Those are bullets. Oh, they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My shop's kind of a mess right now because I've been working on Man, this. Man, this is the too. neatest shop I've been in in a long time. I've got time. a lift right here, car lift. Oh, that's cool. I've I got knew. all the brand new Ford. There's a $1,000 sitting right here. It doesn't look like it, but. That, it's going on this rig right it's here. It's going on the 93. On the 93. The 93 is the priority right now. Okay. Oh man, you talk about neat shop. You got a neat shop. Well, I try. Here's the tires that's going on my 93. Okay, on the 93. Yeah, I'm getting them through buds. Oh man, they're they, huge. They just came in. Well, they're just, they're like 35, 1250s. I got 37, 1350s on that rig. I didn't want too big, but I wanted big enough, so mm -hmm. I think this will work. So they're going on that truck right yeah. over there. Yeah. Oh, they'll look good. Oh, they'll look awesome. Like you said, it'll take it up a little higher. Yeah, about an inch. It'll it'll fill it up a little bit. Let 
and these are work in process. Well, that's a 78 Bronco that I made a pickup out of. Uh-huh. And I've got pieces and parts. Here's the bed that was on that 93. Okay. You can see how the paint was all jacked up on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It done been through a lot well, of hard work. it was just something about that color and that year. Uh, the paint just didn't hold up. Because a lot of them are that way. I like your step side. Well, this is a 79. And this is a 90... 95 flare side just like that red one mm -hmm. but i just i had this bed empty and i just stuck it on there and it fit but i mean the lines don't you know the lines don't line up but uh i just stuck it on there to store it yeah just okay so it's a working process well it's 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 inventory right now now what did you do with the bronco you uh you know how when you take the top off like my black one in there uh -huh. the back of the cab is open and the bed's all open so i took the back of a 79 cab and uh, welded it on and then I put a regular tailgate on it oh yeah it looks great it's like a mini pickup yeah are you gonna completely restore it well I don't know I, I'm driving it right now so yeah it I looks cool work out of it it's, it's rough but I don't care hey I appreciate you showing me your vehicles Thank you. Well, it's fun. I don't uh, fish and I don't golf. So you got to have some place to spend your money. Yeah. And plus, I just enjoy it. Like, I drive this one and... It's your hobby. You get a lot of looks even with this one. Yeah, because there again, Ford did not make a Bronco pickup. And, but it looks factory the it, way I did it. It does. It looks great. I mean, it's rough, but it looks original. Yeah, I guess we call that patina. Well, <laughs> it's it's pretty pretty bad. Are you going to originally uh, re uh, paint it eventually? And I don't know. You just have to fill it out. I mean, where do you get the money for this kind of stuff? I've got too many projects. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just spent four grand on that red truck getting it painted. And that was wholesale. It's just a I hobby. got a friend that's a that has a body shop yeah well he needs he needs to cut you a price on some of them but that is a really good paint job yeah he did a good job